Today I want to share with you 5 different methods how you can do a split toning in Photoshop. So let's the fun begin. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. What is split toning? It's a great technique to color grade your images, to split your images into two tones, one for highlights and another for the shadows. It's usually done with complementary tones, with complementary colors. What are complementary colors? Well, it's the opposite colors in a color spectrum, in a color wheel. What is color wheel? I know it's too many information for today, but let's jump straight into Photoshop and I will show you on an example. So let's start. Today we will have fun with five different images, but before we start I want to show you what is the color wheel. This is the color wheel, this is all the colors in a visible spectrum. And the opposite colors, as I already said, are complementary colors. For example, if we choose the blue color, the opposite color is the yellowish orange tone and this is the complementary tone. For example, if we choose some red, red color or something like so, it's as you can see here green or, or uh, cyan, cyan tone. And if we choose uh, and uh, this this green color, the opposite color, it's purple, like so, etc., etc. How you can do that in Photoshop? Well, it's pretty easy. As you can see here, this circle has 360 degrees, as any circle has, but the half of that is 180 degrees. If we go here in Photoshop, if we choose, for example, red color, it's zero degrees, and if we go up all the way to another red it will be 360 degrees and again zero and the complementary color for this red color it's halfway of the circle it's 180 degrees and all we have to do is to add 180 degrees to this hue tab here and this is zero plus 180 it's 180 and the complementary color is this beautiful cyan color for example if we have this color here like so, like 60 or ah, 61, this green, uh, sorry, this yellow color, the complementary color will be 180 plus 61, it's 241, 241, it's this nice, beautiful blue color, etc, etc. All right, now when you know that, you can play with the colors. But first, let's start with this image and with the first method, how you can use split toning. The first will be the most obvious method that you have in Photoshop and in Lightroom to go to the filter and camera row filter. And now we will use this tab here. It says split toning and everything is so clear. We have highlights, we have shadows. We will choose one tone for highlights. For example, this, this uh, yellow one, and we will crank up the saturation all the way to 100% just to have better representation what is going on here with this image. And if we want to use exactly complementary color, we need to add 180 on this 60 and that will be 240, like so. All right, and we will crank the saturation all the way up. As you can see now, we have highlights tinted with the yellow color and the shadows tinted with the blue color. If you press P on a keyboard, like before and after preview, we will see before and after, before and after. Okay, we have another slider here. It's a balance slider. We can choose how much colors or shadows are affected with this split toning. Okay, we can, of course, in, uh, decrease the saturation on both sliders here. And we will have something like, let me see before and after, before and after. If we are not satisfied, we can always change that. We can always change the color. It doesn't need to be complementary colors. We can play what, with anything we want for a final result. And this is before, this is after, before and after. All right, when we are satisfied, just press OK and the effect is applied. OK, that was the first method and most obvious. Let's go to the second image and to second method. Alright guys, this is the second image and for this second image we will use the Curves Adjustment layer and we will do a split toning with this. Let's go to the blue tab here and we have on the right side highlights and on the left side we have shadows. This is the middle parts and of course it's mid -tons. And if we 
put the this this upper part down we will decrease the blues and we will add the yellow because the yellow is the opposite color and it's automatically done with here with the curves with the curves you don't have to worry about the complementary colors it's automatic for procedure here okay we will add the yellows to the highlights and then add a little bit blues to the shadows and as you can see it's really nice we already have great result before and after before and after of course with these curves here we can go back to rgb and we can add some contrast even more if we like that before and after before and after of course if we don't like what we did with this blue channel we can go to another channel for example red and add some red to the highlights and add some the opposite of the red is cyan let's add cyan to the shadows or even opposite add red to the shadows and cyan to the highlights etc etc but that's the second method with the curves right now let's go to the third image and the third method this will be our third image and the third method it's really really easy and it's completely straightforward you don't have to worry about complementary colors too for this we will use solid color adjustment layer and let's use this blue why not okay and make it a lot darker or we can make a bright and saturated just to have better representation what is done here when we done this we just need to put the blending mode from normal to exclusion and here is the magic the shadows are tinted with the blue that we selected and the highlights are automatically tinted with the complementary color if we change the color for example to the red here you can see red and cyan or green and purple etc etc all right let's go to the red for this example and let's move this all the way down if you move all the way down there is no effect applied on this but if we move a little bit up the effect started to apply more and more more and more and we can choose how much we want to have this effect applied on our image but that's the point here just choose a solid coral adjustment layer exclusion blending mode and that's it and you can always change this you can always change your color and have result something something as you want okay that's really nice before and after before and after so that's the third method let's go now to the fourth method for this we will use this really nice beautiful black and white image and for the fourth split toning method i will use gradient map all right gradient map we can use this we can use black and white it's nothing and we can use any color we want any presets we want uh, if you don't have all these presets as i have here let's reset all this i will show you reset gradients okay you will basically have uh, something like this and if you want to add any of these gradients you can go here and add something maybe pastels or photographic tone toning or simple or any others let's do this photographic and append it and now we will have a lot of these different effects All right let me show you how you can do a split toning just choose any of these preset with the two colors of course you can choose the three colors or rainbow colors but that's not so interesting choose any of the two colors and on the left side you have shadows on the right side you have highlights if you move the shadows to the uh, sorry highlights to the left towards the shadows you can see the more of the highlights on the image are affected all right and if you go back to the right there is less highlights affected here okay we can always change the colors for example again let's use blue to cool down this a little bit and here use the opposite let's use the yellowish something like so to make the highlights a little bit warmer press ok and just put this gradient map adjustment layer from normal to overlay or soft light something like that i will put it soft light and as you can see before and after before and after it's really really nice you can always change this double tap on that go here you can change how much highlights will be affected here you can change the saturation of the highlights let's use a little bit desaturate but bright highlights or even white completely let's use a little bit warmer like so you can go here to the shadows and 
again desaturate these shadows if you want or make it darker like so etc etc and when you're satisfied just press ok and that's it this is before this is after before and after of course you can change always and use some other effects with this gradient map it's really really nice way to color grade your images All right that's it for the fourth method and now let's go to the fifth and the final method for today all right guys for this fifth and final method we will use this really beautiful image of this part of the milky way and this arc of the rocks here and we will make this already beautiful and interesting image a little bit more interesting with the split toning but this will be a little bit more advanced method if you're not familiar with luminosity masks please look at this tutorial here it's all about luminosity masks and otherwise just follow this along with me all right first what i want to do here is to add a solid color adjustment layer and we will use for example let's use this blue color and i want to delete, delete this layer mask we can drag it here to a trash can or we can press the right click and just say delete the mask copy this with Control command j and just use another color for example this yellowish uh, sorry yeah yellowish color and this will be for our highlights this will be for our shadows all right let's hide this for now first what we need to do here is to load the first luminosity mask that will representate all the highlights in the scene how to do that it's really really easy just go to the channel tab press and hold control on the keyboard and just click on this rgb channel and as you can see here, there is a lot of marching ads, ants here on the scene. And that's the selection of all highlights in the scene. Now let's reveal this back this uh, yellow color and just add a mask to that. And as you can see here, we have all highlights tinted to yellow. We will do the same for this uh, blue, for the shadows. We will copy with the outer option key, just drag this mask here and we will invert the mask to represent all the shadows in the scene with control or command I. Nice. And let's reveal this. Okay, now we can uh, go here and go to the image while, while we have a mask selected, not this uh, adjustment layer, but the mask here. Go to the image adjustments and, 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 and go to the levels here or if you're uh, like me you like uh, if you like uh, shortcuts on the keyboard just press Control command l on the keyboard and let's load these levels here we will tweak this mask a little bit as you can see here we will reveal a little bit more of the highlights like so and let's go here to the highlights Control command l and let's maybe reveal it even more something like so great and we will select both of these layers and put it to the soft light blending mode. If you have older version of Photoshop, you need to select one and put it to soft light and then another again. All right, and we already have something that it's much more interesting than before. We have our shadows tinted to blue and our highlights tinted to yellow. We can, of course, tweak the opacity, etc., etc. All right, we can always change these colors because it's undestructive method. For example, we can change the shadows to uh, highlights to the red. Let's make it red and we can change the, or even leave it like this. It's really, really interesting. Or we can change the shadows a little bit to, to cyan or so. And we can play with this adjustment uh, layers here with their, their masks with Control command L to load the levels. And then we can play with these output levels. It, if we invert this, we will have something really interesting here. If we invert this and play with this, we will have some monotone image here. It's all red. Uh, the highlights are red and the shadows are really, really dark. If we uncheck this, it will be completely different, etc., etc. The point here that you have all the freedom and your creativity to do to make your uh, image look really really interesting with just this really fun method it's another way how you can use a split toning in photoshop so let me show you again before and after before and after and if we go again Control command l and put this invert this output and input again we have something like this or even if we go again to the levels to add a little bit more red to the highlights like so and this is really nice before and after before 
and after we made this image a lot more interesting. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope that you liked all of these five methods I share with you for this split toning tutorial. If you have any questions at all, please ask them in the comment below. I will be glad to answer them. Try all of these methods because every of them has a little bit different impact on an image. Choose your preferred method for a specific image. Have fun, play with that, let your creativity and imagination be your limits. See you next week in the next episode. Bye bye. How you can guess any card that is taken from this deck by not looking at it? It's really easy. For example, somebody take this card and you're not looking and you say it's a fort of hearts. And for example, this card, it's ace of diamond, etc, etc. It's really easy. Just turn on your creativity. Put your mobile phone below your cards and you will see the reflection in it like in a mirror. And for example, then you can choose Joker. See you next week in the next video. Bye bye.